And today we're going to look at an unusual piece. It's a Microman figure set, but it's actually a Godzilla and King Ghidra Microman figure set. Um, comes in a sort of blister pack uh, on a cardboard background. And it looks like you get a Godzilla suit for this Microman to wear. Then you get a King Ghidra suit with his three heads. For this Micro Man, he's got a bit of a mullet, this one, to wear. It's really nicely packaged. These are obviously Japanese figures. Um, you can see the Micro Man figure, like the Micronaut figure, goes into the suit. So it's a sort of a, a smaller version of the Action Man one that I've got. Um, Really nice packaging. 64 Godzilla, so he's 50 meters tall. 100 meters King Ghidra. That must be including tail, because he's about the same height as Godzilla. Um, there's different sets you can get. It shows you how poseable the Microman figures are. And it says you get different hands with it. And then there's this one, which is a 1954 Godzilla. And then there's a Godzilla Final Wars Godzilla. And then Megalon and Jet Jaguar, or Jet Jagger, as they call them in the film. Um, these are really nice. So they're made by Takara, um, who also made the Real Action Heroes version. I've got the Takara Joe one, um, made in China, which is, I suppose, everything is these days. Um, but it's actually a Japanese toy. Um, so what I'm going to do is try and carefully open it. I think it looks like it's just taped on the back so I'm going to try and cut it open and then we'll come back and have a look at the figures. Okay so I've carefully used a scalpel to cut the tape um, so it's quite sort of collector friendly you can open it so you get a backing card with lots of nice pictures on so this looks like you get two stands for the hands for the various figures and King Ghidra's wings and then inside Open this just so okay. okay. I don't want to destroy it too much because I do want to put it back together. So trim the tape. This little cardboard piece with a startled Godzilla. There's tape there, there's tape on the corners. Apologies for the scraping noise. Okay, just two more bits of tape to cut, I think. And I don't want you getting in at these figures by the amount of tape on it. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at the figures first. In focus, so he's got a bit of a Frankenstein head, this one. Always wearing a hat. Very muscly. Loads of articulation. They, they're slightly different to the old Micronauts figures, but similar. Oh, they're so poseable. Yeah. Can you get that into quite a few different positions? So he's the Godzilla one. He's King Gudra and he's got a mullet and a half. Look at that. Mullet man. Really nice little figures, these. I think the, the story behind uh, these figures are that these are the actual size of the creatures and they come to Earth to inhabit and disguise themselves as children's toys, which is a bit barking mad, but. Oh! This is just a soft rubber. Hello. Oh, Look at that face. Oh, that's amazing. It's such a nice looking Godzilla. It, it's weird that it feels right because it's rubber. So the, the Micro Man goes in the back there. I'm not going to put these together because I've, I've seen other sets put together online. <coughs> Pardon me. And um, 
they tend to rip or the figures fall apart but I don't think the build quality is great on these so you get his foot so you get these feet and you see these the feet on these pop off and these actually plug in which is a strange sort of idea so King Gidra he's a much more solid plastic and also incredibly sticky I'm just gonna smell it mm, I thought it would reek of like paddling pool but it's not it's fine and would look for it but really sticky quite a bizarre stickiness to it there's his little legs yeah, hilarious legs two tails there you get and which one's Kevin so again they uh, they clip on to the head part there's Godzilla's spines which just slot in after you've put the figure in you see there's a slot there let me see if I can uh, put one together without putting a figure in and then we'll have a look at it well I've got the figures sort of together Ghidra Ghidorah however you want to pronounce it went together the best because he's got some sort of wire harness system inside um, I couldn't get his tail bits on I think you'd need to trim them don't really want to do that his wingspan is amazing he's such a good looking figure and then Godzilla, I absolutely love this Godzilla. You can zoom in. There we go. Look at that face. Um, Godzilla, he, he hasn't really got any inner structure. But he does go together quite well. So you could a bit of blue tack or something holding the arms on. You could display them with the figures outside, which is probably the best way to do it. Because even just sort of posing the figures like this, the joints are quite loose and I get a feeling bits would pop off. They're so poseable though, you can get these figures into any position. But I absolutely love these figures. I might try and get some more. My wife got me this one. She saw it on eBay. I mean, you never see them. And then it turned up and it was uh, a really good price. Um, but these are brilliant. I'd love to get the uh, Megalon and Jet Jaguar. So I love those too. They have complete barn pots. but. Yeah, that cuts it away. so nice but yeah it's um i think this is gonna go on the shelf in a place of honor why don't we get this sort of stuff over here as actual toys just such a clever idea um, but yeah um thanks for watching if you want to see more of these style of videos then please like and subscribe um i've got a few other godzilla bits and bobs so let me know if you're enjoying the godzilla videos and I'll do some more. And in the meantime, Godzilla, King Ghidra, Kevin, and these two mullet-headed buffoons. Look at him. Uh, say thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks, then. Bye.